Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome to this video on uh, how to use shortcuts uh, in Oracle Apex. And in this, we will be discussing about shortcuts, which is really a nice feature, uh, which might uh, protect you to use it. And we will be having a demo as well. So let's proceed uh, with our shortcuts. So shortcuts are like write code once let's say you have an html code you have to call it again and again so you don't need to write uh, in your application multiple times you will just uh, use a shortcut and then you will call with by referencing this shortcut and it will uh, act like you have written that uh, code over there uh, we can use the shortcut within the following location so there are multiple scope or location where you can use these shortcuts which you can go through over here uh, <coughs> uh, item labels even you can change using shortcuts pre element post elements default values uh, supported shortcuts like these are different supported shortcuts so this is uh, very important very important and these are again uh, with uh, scab special characters etc so let's move to the demo and we will see how exactly it will look like and uh, you can explore further where you want to use or you would like to use it depending on your requirements okay okay so uh, this is my application so if i will go to uh, shared components and un under other components you will find these shortcuts so go to the shortcuts and let me show you one shortcut so here is the name of the shortcut it should be the in capital and this is these are the types which i was just showing so function body html etc and this will be the contents or text of the shortcut so this will be the shortcut so now if i will call this and it should give me this value okay this is my text let me put it like my text okay uh, now let me show you function how you can call a function so I've just given one example body returning watcher where I said uh, I just defined one variable I'm just calling uh, from the department table so I am taking the department name and assigning to this variable and then returning this variable so uh, this 10 is accounting this is just an example okay and another thing is if you see on the right side uh, in few cases you can access uh, these substitution strings here right so let's say for example if I want to uh, make a where in where condition let's say for example this is the current item name or ID so if it is a current name I can use it somewhere here over here if I have a table if you have to filter something or you want to return you have any condition that if item is this some thing, things like that or you have a table where you have labels of uh, your uh, application or uh, labels uh, sorry labels of your uh, page items so you can use them so this these are the substitution strings you can use it and these are different places where you can uh, use these shortcuts and this is how the shortcut will be okay now uh, coming back let me save it uh, and let's say for example here I just created one example of HTML where I am uh, making uh, red color to the current item name uh, sorry uh, for the current item so it's this is the current item which is this one so the current item where I will use this shortcut it will uh, give me this as a red color okay so now let's try these uh, three um, shortcuts which I have to use in my page so this is my I just just created one sample page nothing in it and I have a region nothing in nothing special in this so if I'm here in this item and if you see here in the label and the another thing you have to keep in mind it should be in double quotes right this is double quotes so if I would show you it will be like this okay so double quotes 
double quotes. If you will not add these double quotes, then there will be a problem. Okay. So, so let's say for example here I am calling that function. Ideally, it should show label as accounting. Okay. Let's run it. Okay. This is my label, the accounting, right? This one. Okay. So. Another thing is, let's say for example, let me try over here. I can, if I can add uh, x x color. So let's try. So it is what it is doing. It is assigning. Uh, just a moment. Let me show you. It is assigning the label from here. So what I will do uh, this color if you see here so it is making the color to red right of current item name right this is my current item name so if I want to make something else I can make it over here right so the what is whatever is the current uh, item name so let me change it to let's say for example this is M A N D A. I'm just giving example, right? So it's not uh, maybe practical uh, text, but this is mandatory uh, field. Let's let's because it, uh, I just I'm showing it red. So let's try. And another thing I will do, I will remove that uh, at least uh, the accounting part, which is function. I'm calling the function. Let me remove that. So so. I am just doing this one. Okay, this is a mandatory field. So this is title. Okay, so it's it's like that. Okay, so if I move this, okay, let me add a default text. Uh, this is default, right? If I will move it static, right, and then x x text right nothing else i don't know what was the text there but this is my text i think see it is mandatory uh, mandatory is the field and this is a uh, default text i'm showing from here although i written so anywhere i will write this one it will call that uh, shortcut so the point over here is so let's say for example uh, you have used it multiple times or multiple places and if you need to change it you don't need to go inside the applications. You will come here and you will change over here. Right? So, uh, let's say this is my text for demo. Okay? So, now ideally it's changed everywhere. Wherever you used it. Okay? It is changed. Uh, Another, uh, there are certain reports here as well you can use about these shortcuts uh, if there is any subscription and there is a history over here, what you did, okay, no problem. But let me show you how to create. So let's say for example if I have this text, this is a text, so I have to create it over here. Uh, I will call it dummy, I'm just creating a dummy, okay, and this is a uh, dummy shortcut okay nothing else and you can even display if there's any error you can um, display a text if in case there is any error it will show that uh, error text create okay so this is dummy when now I will click it I will get few more options as well down and you will find description on the right side where you can call them uh, use them and any uh, page items you on any page item you, which substitution string you can use it right see even in header footer as you see here region templates region headers footers you can add these right item labels default value post element uh, so if you see uh, post and pre, uh, pre element so let me go to this post text I think uh, there is uh, properties over here mm, where was that see this one pretext post text so if I will just add over here uh, double code x x underscore text 
right so it will be before the field and here it will be after the field so let me first try with the pre text see it is here because this is title and in inside and this one right very easy and now if i remove now it will be after the text field okay there on the right side okay. no why sorry i make it test it should be text my mistake okay the same way for the pre text and i think then you can use in the help as well if you here in this help because that uh, scope is already provided there uh, when, where you are creating the shortcuts um let's try and please share your feedback if it was of any use uh, for your current application or you are going to consider it for the future applications right thank you very much and allah hafiz